Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain the relation between two lists in Pega. So, say in your application you have one list, in this case is a list of games, and based on the user selection, a new list is coming on the right side. So, uh, as you can see, there is a direct right list a relation between the first list and the second list as well from the second list you can remove any item and it will be automatically updated on the first list so let's see how this works uh, by using data transforms in pega so let's get started so i delete everything if i launch my portal if i run my case I don't see the tables here, but my list is present in the clipboard in the PYWord page. So this is my list, list of games, and here is where I am storing all my games. So I'm going to use this list to create a second list for create the second table. So my first list will contain a checkbox based on that checkbox i'm going to build the second list so first i'm going coming here to my section and i'm adding a dynamic layout here at the bottom so after that i'm adding uh, another dynamic layout inside and this dynamic layout um will be in line grid double save and, and I adding another dynamic layout here. So this uh, dynamic layout will be for my first table. So I'm adding here one table. First of all, I have to add it uh, here, my PY work page. And the class name is the class where is my list. So is this class. You can double check on the PY work page class. So I'm adding this class in here. And now I can use uh, my list on my table. So I'm adding work page dot list of games and submit. Now um Okay, I'm going to delete this column, delete this column, and in this column, I'm just adding here uh, the title, uh, list of games, submit, and in here, I am going to add uh, all the columns that uh, my list is going to have. So I'll start by adding the name of my game and in the bottom I'm adding the property that name submit I'm adding a new column at the right and another column at the right um, so after that okay after name I'm also adding um, let's add the type of game submit so here will be type of game submit and as well uh, let's add the difficulty of the game so let's add that difficulty submit and here difficulty submit also i have to add uh, my checkbox but let's see how it looks as of now so let me click on save uh, let me run a new case and this will be my list okay this list of games um we can change uh the presentation in here um, okay simply let's remove this submit save let's refresh okay 
it looks better. Uh, we can also, because it's a title, uh, we can change, um, of course, uh, the label. So let's use a hidden tree. Save. Okay, as well, I need a new column. That uh, in my new column, I need the checkbox in order to select the games that I need. So I'll create, uh, insert a new column at my left. And this will be uh, games um, select game. And also in pickers, I'm going to add a um, multi, uh, no, sorry. I'm going to add a checkbox in here. Perfect. Um, okay. And the property, I'm going to create a new property. A name is selected. So this uh, is going to tell me if uh, a game is selected or uh, not. So this will be a Boolean property. So I'm going to create it now. Okay, create an open. And this is going to be true or false. Save. Okay, perfect. Uh, now also on presentation, I can um, change the presentation. This to be centered. Mm, let's keep it centered. Okay, good. Save. Okay. Great. Uh, let's see how it looks as of now. Okay. Uh, the values are coming as false. So let me check here uh, the presentation. Okay, it's because edit option is auto. Let's change it to editable. And uh, caption position, let's keep it left. Submit. Save. And let's see now. Okay, by default, everything is um, unselected, means that is coming as false. If I check, um, I can check now the keyboard. So let me check the keyboard now. Let me check my list. So as you can see, um, now in all the, uh, in all my games on my list, I have this new property is selected. Uh, it's not coming as false, it's coming empty because I have not set it set as true or as false. If I change now here, let's see what happened. So let's check the clipboard. I select the first three. So let's see now. Okay, as you can see, it remained still empty. And this is because we have not added uh, an action to this um, checkbox. So let's do that. So coming back here, let's go to actions and create an action set. I'm going to create an event of change and by adding a post value action, this should be enough to see my value on my clipboard. So let me click on save. Let's run again another case. I'm going to select the first three and now it should come as true. So, as you can see, it selected is true for the first, second, and third one. For the fourth, is uh, empty because I didn't select it. Okay, good. Now, my requirement is uh, based on this checkbox selection, I have to create a new list in a new table here on my right. So, let's do that. Okay, so let's start by creating a new action here. So I'm going to create uh, an action set also for a uh, change. And I'm going to uh, run a data transform. So this is going to be a new data transform. Uh, so it's going to be set selected games. So this data transform uh, will do nothing but uh, set my selected games on click on uh, my list 
so let's create an open okay so uh here uh let's start doing a loop and what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create a new list in here based on what based on my uh py word page that uh list of games but first let's uh let's uh, set it here on pages and classes um give me a moment um this is the class so let's set my py word page class in here and i should be able to see it here perfect py word page that list of games and i am creating a new list also in my py word page and uh, this is going to be called um, games selected so i'm going to create this new list create an open and this will be a page list and the page definition uh because i want to reuse um all properties from my previous list so i'm going to use same definition as my uh list of games so i'm going to use this definition then i can use all properties under this data class so i'm going to click on save close this and uh now i'm going to create so what i'm doing here okay so for this page on py list of games okay i need to tell um i need to tell uh what i am selecting i am not selecting everything on list of games i am doing only so let's do uh first a win condition so this i am doing only let's um okay so the when condition will be only when is selected it's equal to true so when it's selected is equal to true then i am creating this new list and what values i'm going to get so you can bring any values that you want for now, I'm going to uh, bring only the name. I only need the name uh, of the game that I'm selecting. I, I don't need to put again the difficulty or the type of game on my second list. So by uh, by placing the name, this will be fine. Uh, so let's click on save. Let's see if we don't have any errors. Okay, what is this? there is no source uh, okay oh sorry i did one mistake in here okay uh also use this place as source context and i am the source will be the name okay safe okay perfect this will be a new page and uh, let's click on save and let's see how this works okay first of all of course i have to uh, submit here and as well i have okay let's see let's see if this works let's create a new one okay so based on my selection let's see if i can see my new list on my py page okay it's not in here so um i have to add also uh, a, a new action set i have to add uh based on change i have to refresh uh, my page so let's click on refresh let's click on submit save let's see now Okay. 
Okay, perfect. As you can see on PWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiWiW